Alrighty, hello guys, welcome me faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Stormworks yet again, and today I think we're gonna work on the ballast system a little bit on our submarine. So how about we allow this room to flood, we allow this room to flood, this room to flood, this room to flood, and I guess the very back end to flood as well. I think that makes sense to do. So how about we start working on adding pumps to this, and just see what happens. All right, so inside the front of the submarine, I wouldn't actually mind if we added some hatches into here uh, to allow water in. The only issue is, obviously, if we're allowing water in, uh, we need to somehow suck the air out first, or suck the air out as the water's going in. Uh, so I don't really want to use hatches, I want to use pumps all the way. So let's start with some large pumps. We're going to make them the same color as the outside of the vehicular device. And I need to somehow have it pump in. I don't know how that's going to work. Obviously, we got these underbelly ones as well. Uh, these underbelly rooms. Uh, I wouldn't mind actually filling these with water first. So let's try and see what that looks like. All right, do it on both sides. Yes. If I shove that into there, what have we got? So pump in. No, we need it the other way around. So it's going to go like this, one, two, uh, three, four, five. Let's do five. We're going to have to add um, fluid pots. I mean, not quite fluid pots, but we need something that allows water in and out. Uh, I don't know whether these do. Does this allow fluid, like any fluid or just air? Uh, da -da -da -da. Port used to allow air in and out of a fluid system. Yeah, so it is just air. Did it used to be both? I'm not sure. I have no idea on that one. Uh, anyway, we need to probably use a fluid port then. Okay, delete this, 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 and this and this. We're then gonna have to add some pipes into here to allow these to work. So I'm gonna shove that onto there, going sideways. I don't think that's gonna work out, is it, if I do that? All right, if I just do this on all of them, um, it's gonna work, but it's kind of annoying, obviously. Alright, shove that onto there. And, th oh, no, wait, what am I doing? No, wait, if I just angle them downwards, that will work, I think. Yep, there we go. There we go. Delete that one, shove it onto there, and there. And then fluid pots onto each of these should allow it to work. Alright, here we go. Bosh. There's one, two, three, four, five. Okay, yes, that's all fine. So that's for pumping um, water in. We then need like an air tank somewhere that we can shove air into. And actually, I'm thinking we use these guys. So air tank huge. Oh, these are big though. But we might need them. I think we do need them. So if I can shove some of these in here somewhere, that would be great. That would actually be really, really good. I just can't really fit them anywhere right now. And that's an issue. That is a bit of an issue. Can I delete, like, a few of these? And a few of those. Right, air tanks. We've added them. Two huge air tanks have been added. Uh, fill level max, that's fine. If we go to the underside... Uh, and I delete this. And we go to gas relief. Shove that onto there. And then we shove a fluid pot onto here. I think that's fine. Yes! Okay. The other thing that I wouldn't mind doing is actually adding a liquid relief, thingamabobby, uh, to these, so that air can't actually be pumped out. Because uh, if air gets pumped out, then we might be having some serious issues. You know? So, one, two, three, four, oh, four, five. Okay, and then we'll put liquid on there. Liquid? Uh, a liquid relief valve, one, two, three, four, and five. And then, I don't know, fluid ports on the bottom? I guess it just sort of has to be. All right, here we go. So we'll use this green. I'll shove that into there. One, two, three, four, and five. I'm gonna shove this guy on the back, like that. And on the front, like this. We'll attach them all together like that. That's fine. Okay, good. So we got loads of pumps ready to go. Mm-hmm, okay. Um. I don't know whether we need a pump on the air one. Where even is the air one? Oh, it's here. Uh, yeah, I don't know whether we should add a pump onto that. 
So I am actually going to. Let's get ourselves a pipe really quickly. Angled one. There we go. Shove ourselves a pump into here like this. And then... Oh no, the other way around. Oh, should it be... It needs to sort of be both ways. Actually. Oh, that's fine. So shove this guy into here like this. And then the other one needs to go on this side like this. So we got in and out. Yeah, okay. And then we just change this guy um, to a T piece instead. There we go. Just like that. Yes! So whenever we need to um, blow the ballast tanks, we can obviously just fire air into here. Whenever we need to... Uh, fill the ballast tanks we can send the air from in here up into this tank now. I don't know whether we should lower the amount of um, Air that's in the tank already. I'm gonna lower it by 10% uh, and we can see what happens Yeah, interesting. So that's a lot of work to have just got the rear one done We now need to get the front one done as well, and we can go from there All right, so we're at the front one now. Let's go ahead and paste this into here. We're then gonna delete uh, all of these guys, because it doesn't need to be here, and we can merge this down with this. Alright, yes! We then need all of the fluid ports adding again, but once we've done that, we've got the front one done too. Yes, fluid ports. Alright, so one, two, three, four, and five. We're going to shove one of these guys under here like this, and the front one is going to be like that. Okay. Alright, good. There we go, there's all of the pumps. And that should work out fine. We then need ourselves another air tank, so let's do that again. Uh, tank? I guess I could just type in tank and get one. Yep. And if we shove it in here, kind of like this, uh, that will work for us, I believe. Yep. Let's paint it this color. I'm going to go to the back and I'm actually going to paint these ones that color as well. Yes. Okay. Right. We're in a situation where it may work. Um, down into there, yes. Okay, so we're going to need a pump again uh, for both in and out, and that's okay. So, gas. Oh no, actually, let's do a pipe first, downwards, then a gas thingamabobby next, gas relief valve, shove that onto there. We'll pipe it down a little tiny bit more, and then we will pipe it through here, of course, down, and then we need to pump it both ways from there. So, if I put a T-piece right here like this, that's all good. We then need a pump. Although, actually, let's just fill this real quick. Pump. Yes. All right. So, uh, that one could go there. That one's for out. And this one is for out as well. <laughs> this one is for in. Okay, good. Yep, fluid ports. Let's go ahead and shove those on. And we will see what happens when we just activate these two ballast tanks. The one at the front and the one at the back. They're not huge, but they're not tiny either. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. I didn't think about this just yet, but I've got no way of actually emptying the ballast tanks properly yet either, uh, because none of the actual um, filling pumps will actually empty at the same time. So this is us testing the filling. Let's go see how these guys are handling it. Okay, so the pressure should be rising, actually, quite a bit. And the tank content, I guess, will be rising as well. Okay, that's fine. And then if we go downstairs into the actual room down here, there should be water coming in. They don't seem great, do they? These things. These pumps. They don't seem great at all. And it's really annoying, actually. Okay, so the rooms are filling just very, very slowly. Uh, so this is the front one. Let's go have a little look at the rear one. Yes! There is actually water going into these, so I can actually see it happening now. Let's just sit on the outside, and I guess we'll see uh, how low it gets in the water just using those ballast tanks. Uh, the thing is, I might actually just uh, allow those ballast tanks to control the side ones as well. Um... Not really something that I want to do, but like, it might be something that I should just do. Okay, so that right there is actually uh, the submarine with the ballast tanks full. And as you guys can see, 
It is not underneath the water. <laughs> so, what I'm thinking we do is we go to the interior, we find where our little room is down here, and we attach them together. So, we just do this. There we go, that room is now attached together with this one. Uh, which is quite a big area, to be honest. I might even actually allow it to come into here as well. Uh, so if I do... If I just do this. Yeah, it can go into there too. And then if we go backwards to this side... Uh, we need to delete, I don't know, like one of these. Uh, one of those? Yeah, there we go. And now that's attached to this entire piece too, so... Oh no. Oh, that's the fuel. That's the fuel tank. This one is the one we need. So we shove that through there and there, and then we spawn it in, and it's just gonna go straight underneath the water. Oh. It rolled as well. Why is it underneath the water and rolling? I feel like we might have added too much to the front. <laughs> there might be a little bit too much in the front. But that's okay. Right, so... Uh, this bit's open. So that means all of that bit at the back is open. But we don't really have that much... Ah. Uh, so, as you can see, there is a lot of air in this bit at the front. I think if we, like, maybe split this in half... Uh, we might be good to go. I, I don't know, though. I'm not sure. Let's spawn it in again. We just can't allow it to have too much air in the front. Why is it rolling like that, though? That's pretty strange. Okay, so what I think we do is we actually add more of these guys, sort of, uh, to the bottom, maybe? I don't know, do we? <laughs> do we add these guys to the bottom? Control surface. Uh, we go with these. All right, here we go. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's it. And then we're going to do the same here. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. And then I actually kind of want to add some back here. Like this. So one, two, three. Actually, hold on. Two, three. Ooh. One there. One there. One there. One there. No, that looks bad. One there. Okay, we're going to go with that. Uh, but obviously on both sides. I didn't realize I wasn't doing it all on both sides originally, but there you go. Alright, cool. We then need to go to the other side then, down here. Flip it over, and I need to do all of this again. On this side instead this time. Alright, there we go. Good. Do these ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And there we go. Is that going to be more stable? Not really. Still listing to the left. Why the left, though? That's, that's what gets me. Oh, you know what's happening, maybe? Possibly? The fact that it's actually resting on that might be tipping it over. Possibly. Yeah, that might be the case. Uh, right, well, we need to figure something else out, too. So I'm going to attach Finn's left to this guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy. And then Finn's right need to go to this one, this one, this one, and this one. Okay, excellent. Okay, so this is us with our ballast tanks actually full. We are underneath the water. I now want to stop going forwards and I want to see what happens. We might return to the surface. It does just constantly want to lean to the right as well. That's really weird. Uh, yeah, we might just go straight back to the surface. But actually... It seems... More stable than I expected it to be under the water. So that's pretty cool. Uh, the front end is wanting to go up more, so I might raise the blocks inside the front a little bit. But other than that, it kind of works. It kind of does. So yeah, what I'll do is I will delete a bunch right here. In fact, we're just going to delete a bunch as we go. All of those, all of those, not that one. <laughs> all of those, there we go, all of those. And these ones. We're then gonna go up from there by two. And I'm gonna shove all these in. Bam. So we've raised it a little bit. Is that gonna be any use to us? I don't know. It's annoying that it's tipping over. I don't actually think it is because of this. I don't know what it's because of though. It, it's very symmetrical, this thing. There's only a few things that are different, so... 
Oh, wait. I've only used ballast tanks on the one side, haven't I? Because those holes I did without this. Ah. So if I go to the other side, yes, that is the problem. Okay, well, at least we found the problem. All right, good. Let's go to this end. And delete... No. This? Yeah, that. There we go. Shove this guy into here like this. But we need it in this color. Okay, excellent. So now the ballast tanks are on both sides. We might sink way too much. No, that's actually pretty good. No, that is actually pretty good. Okay, let's send it into the deeper ocean and see what happens. Now that we've got the extra stability fins as well, I think this is actually sort of working a lot better than I expected. Hot diggity dog. All right, drive it. Go, 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 go. We're going to dive it under as well. As soon as uh, the entire submarine is under, it should start going really quick, which it is. Oh, this is nice. This is working well. Okay, dive all the way under. Cut the throttle. And let's see what happens. So we're just going to stop in the water. If we descend a little bit, that's okay. This is not bad. This is not bad whatsoever. The rear, again, is sinking faster than the front. But we're actually all sinking together. Okay. Yeah. Not neutral buoyancy. Neutral buoyancy is kind of hard to find. But that's not bad. At all. And if we look out the window, we can actually press 1. And we can see! Wow! Look at that! Beautiful. Somebody did mention I should probably flood these. Uh, because in real life, that's what they do, apparently. Um, but I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. Not right now, anyway. Oh no, the water's coming in. I want to go for a swim. I can't get out. Wait. Oh, wow. I can't actually get out of here. There we go. How awesome is this? Wait, no. I'm so confused. Let me out. I think I'm getting sucked back in because of the pressure. That's amazing. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. But yeah, our ballast tanks do actually work now. So they do lower us to the bottom of the ocean. We need to add pumps to allow it to... Um, flood back out or to empty but other than that we're good we are good nice that's pretty sick yeah anyway i think i'll end this video here for now uh it's kind of interesting to get to this point um it's going to be very very interesting to see if we can empty those tanks uh, effectively but it will it will maybe happen anyway for now thank you guys very much for watching hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one goodbye